Hey there. Happy Monday. Um, today is exciting for me because I'm going to show you a couple of things to do with my new Trace Clay Sprays. Um, they are finally for sale. Um, you can get them at my website, traceclay.com. That's T R E Y S clay.com. Um, they are two ounces. They're three fifty a piece. You see that shimmer? Ooh yeah. Um, they're three fifty a piece. You can mix and match. You can get any four for twelve dollars a piece, or you can get the whole set of ten for thirty. Um, so, if you like some of the ideas that I'm giving you today, go check them out. Start with one, see if you like it, and then come back for more. Um, I'm going to do two and a half kind of techniques on black today, and then tomorrow I'll do some on white. Um, so the first one that I'm going to show you is we're going to use regular alcohol inks. Um, and we're going to do the technique that I love to do, which is just painting stripes on. I'm going to do it this way, I think. Um, painting stripes on. Do I want to do it that way? No, I'm going to do it this way. Um, and then we're going to just use one of the colors just to quickly spray and it'll enhance um, kind of how it looks um, on the top. So we're going to do the painting of the stripes. And I did, uh, this is going to be all blues and greens. Separate, and I'm doing regular alcohol inks on black. And you wouldn't think that it would be possible or show up, but it looks so cool. cool. It gives a really ethereal kind of look to it. In between, excuse me, each layer I'm going to do white. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up all the caps here. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. So, just do a couple little drops on my brush, and then swipe, and I know it looks like you can't see it, but just wait. You don't have to thoroughly clean the brush in between each one, I just kind of wipe it off real quick. Oh, and then white. And then this is going to bleed, as you can see. And it just looks so cool. And then we'll do, this is a water blue. And then white again. And you want it to bleed up, as you can see, and hopefully you can see how it bleeds up into the color in front of it. It almost looks like an ocean right now. Uh, this is fern green. And then white. And you can see how that all bled up and made a cool, cool design for a veneer. So I'm going to take one of my sprays and I think I think I want to do I'm going to do the pearl. And this is just the surface technique with these. You have to shake them up really good. I did put BBs in there so they it does shake up well, but just kind of tip it over and make sure on the bottom that it's all mixed up. But if you can see, this is a really pretty pearl color. 
And I'm going to just do a couple sprays over the top. And it's just gonna give it a little bit more depth. Um, I'm gonna do one more in this little corner up here. <clears throat> and shimmer, and you'll really see this after it bakes. I don't know if you can see it now very well, but that's, um, it's just gonna give it a little bit more. Plus it works with the other alcohol ink and kind of moves it around and gives it some fun little patterns and everything else. I'm very much an organic um, artist. Uh, I don't like things perfect. I like to see them flow naturally and kind of do their own thing. So it just, it, it excites me this, <laughs> this way. I'm gonna put this to the side and let it dry a little bit. Um, and then I'll show you two other techniques real quick while that is drying. So uh, these are just small ones. They're gonna be like, not really testers, but you'll be able to see. Um, so these, um, I'm gonna show you with stamps. So I have one of my texture stamps here. Um, it's got some copper embedded into it. Oh, that's okay, couldn't get that out. Um, so I'm gonna show you if you stamp beforehand and then if you stamp after. So the beforehand I'll do first. Um, I'm just going to put this on here. Actually, I'll just mash it down a little bit. And I'm going to roll it. Just roll once. Some people do the halfway up and then halfway down. I just do the do it once. You can see it, it got on there pretty good. So, <clears throat> there's the stamp on there. I'm going to put it on a paper towel. You can see the stamp, I think. There you go. And just spray. Um, let's see. I'm going to do... I'm going to do green. I'm going to do copper and green. Here's copper. Again, make sure you shake it up really well. <clears throat> this is how the copper looks. So I'm going to try and get half and half um, sprays here. You can see just with that one spray how much color comes out. That's how um, great the pigment is in these. Um, I think I'll do one more squirt down there. Okay. So I'm so excited about these, you guys. They're just, they're so fun and there's so much you can do with them. I know I'm not, I'm just kind of just breaking the ice here with what I'm showing you today. Um, but I have a lot more that I can show you with these. So I turned it around because I'm going to do the other half in this pretty green. This is an, I call this emerald isle. It's a really pretty green. So this is going to be copper and green. Oh, look at that. So pretty. So if you can see going to be copper and green and I'll I'll do when I stamp when I use my cutters I'm going to cut it this way so it's it, it's a copper and green kind of bleeds into each other so I'm going to let this dry over here and I'll show you with stamping afterwards I probably could do that on the first piece but I like the first piece as it is so I know this is a tiny piece I'm so sorry so let's see we will do Let's do purple and gold sounds so Mardi Gras. Um, let's do blue. <clears throat> we'll do blue and um, well, let's do blue and gold for Ukraine. So 
some blue. Let me just give you a quick little tip. Something that I tried yesterday that worked pretty well. I just remembered. I have this little brush. Um, I think it is to clean out um, like your reusable straws, like your, um, you know, the metal straws. I think that's where I got it from, but it's a nice stiff little brush and it kind of helps to take this and run it really lightly across and kind of scuff up the surface a little bit. And I do each way. See how it takes the shine off of the clay? It kind of makes it better with the, um, with the sprays. They don't roll all over the place. If you want them to roll all over the place, by all means, go for it. Um, I'm just gonna show you how it works with not rolling all over the place. That's the blue, I didn't think I showed you that. Very shiny, sparkly blue. And then I'm gonna do, what I say, gold. I'm gonna turn that over. The gold is very gold. Um, I do have more colors coming soon. I just wanted to get these out right away um, because I said I would. Here's the gold, really pretty. And the gold is gold. Um, I'm gonna do one more squirt of the blue because that, well, maybe not. Yeah, I am. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to let this dry. The first one is dry, so I'm going to go ahead and cut shapes out of it while this is drying. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm not doing anything overly fancy um, because I'm just kind of showing you guys. Oh, let me see. I'll do these. I don't want that. I'll do these. I'll take this off of here but you can see how this looks it's got that pretty shimmer pearly shimmer on the top and then when you um, after you bake it and then whatever you're putting to gloss over it of course I do resin it just really makes it pop it's so nice and like I said it's kind of an ethereal look um, I'm kind of let me see I think I want to do something bigger. Um, I'll do these. Okay. I'm going to do that. This looks like a little landscape. Look at that. It's like a little hill with the sky. Well, that was a little bonus. Love that. And then, I guess this one's going down into the valley. So there's that. There you go. Cool. All right, let's see this one. Cut this one out. That other one is still drying. And I'll have to do a smaller one. These are kind of just um, examples. So let me see. Will that work? I don't think so. Oh, there it is. Gosh. All right. So these are going to be green to gold. Oh, let me take it off of here. You can cut on the paper towel. It's just a little harder to get them off.
So this is how those look. If you can see those. And then I'll show you the last one. Just stamping right on top of your already dried sprays. If it's dried. They dry pretty quickly because it is alcohol, so it's not too bad. Let's see. Ooh. This still needs a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. This is dried. Um, and I decided I'm going to do my daisy stamp. It's a daisy chain stamp that I got um, at one of the three. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joann's. I'm not real sure which one. I want to say Joann's, um, but I like this one. So I'm going to stamp this. It's got the gold and the blue um, on it. And it's, for the most part, dry. I might get a little bit on here. Um, it doesn't matter where, where I stamp because it's one big stamp. So there you go. So you can stamp either way. I didn't stamp very hard on that one, but that's okay. You get the idea. Um, if it was harder, you would have, it, it sinks the color down in a little bit more. So sorry about that. Um, but I think you get the idea with the color on top first and then the stamp it pushes the color down into the clay as opposed to when you um, do the stamp first and then spray um, it gives it a little bit of a different look so that's what I was trying to to show you so I'm gonna cut this out and then I'm gonna bake This is what happens on live TV. Just gonna do these little ovals here. Okay, so someone asked about my baking technique, um, which I've shown once before, but I'll show you guys again. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I put everything on a tile. Um, I don't know how big this is. Maybe 12 by 8. Um, and I got it at Home Depot, and they just gave it to me. I asked if they sold single pieces, and they gave me two pieces. Um, they just wrote sample on the back and said, here you go. So I put my, my pieces to be baked on the tile. I just took up some old clay, um, balled it up and put it in the corners. And then I take this piece and put it right on top. So there's a nice gap here of about maybe a third of an inch. It's, it's bigger than a quarter and less than a half, so I guess that'd be a third. Um, <clears throat> I put this on a cookie sheet and I just bake just like that. And it bakes perfectly. I always bake at 275 for 45 minutes. Alexa keeps my time. Um, and it works out perfectly. My pieces come out, come out just right. So that is how I bake. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be back with the finished products. Hi there. Um, real quickly, I just wanted to show you, these just came out of the oven, and I wanted to show you how they're even more sparkly and amazing after being baked, which is unusual because most alcohol ink based products um, actually dull the color when they come out of the oven, but my babies are even more intense and sparkly when they come out. So that's a little bit of a difference. Um, as a matter of fact, the pearl that I sprayed over these 
almost took over. It's so sparkly. Um, but it'll look great when the resin is on there. But you can see that these are definitely very shiny. And there's nothing on them. I literally just took them out of the oven. So I'm going to put some resin on them. And I will be right back to show you. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've resined. My table's a mess, I apologize. Um, but I resined and and uh, got them all cleaned up and attached everything. And they're delightful, I gotta say. Um, this is that set that looked like um, kind of a landscape. Um, but you can see uh, probably one or maybe even a half a spray of the surface is probably good because these are very pearly. Like I said, the pigment on these is so amazing. Um, this is that other set, the gold and the, and the green. And then the blue and the gold. Actually, this was green and copper, sorry. And then the, here's the blue and the gold. So if you're interested in trying out the product, um, go over to traceclay.com. Um, I have all the colors. You can buy them separately, like I said, packs of four or the whole set of ten. Um, and I appreciate your support. Also, if you like my videos, subscribe. I'm going to be doing videos all week with the sprays to give you guys some ideas and inspiration. Um, so I'll see you next time. Have a great day.